thinking, what's the most special fish I ever caught? Meaningful. And I'm going to go with this one. This was the last time I ever went fishing with my granddad. He'd gotten uh, sick and had surgery on his leg. And they were out at a place called uh, Taboose Creek. It's sort of a sacred place that my family knows about. And we've shared it with people, now I'm sharing it with you. But I had my own family and we had a, uh, a little motor home back then. Oh, we used it quite a bit. I think that's the last time we ever used the motor home too. And they were they were retired, so they were, you know, they're kind of boondocking out there. They're over, they're out there at the creek. So we meet them out there, and we're camping with them. And they were masters of fishing this creek, and and uh, I was just still learning the ropes, you know. And one night, I think it was like the last night before we were gonna go. My granddad takes me fishing, and he says, I'm going to show you some of my spots downstream here. And uh, he, sh you know, he shows me there's a little, uh, a little weir, and he showed me some spots. We were going way down. Now, he's got a, a gimp. He's walking with a cane, and he's fishing with a cane. And he really probably shouldn't have been walking as far as he had been. But we get clear down to this road, and he shows me a spot down there. And there's this little area, and so he's like, "Let's let's try this." And it's just just starting to kind of get when the sun's getting low, and we're gonna have to get back, you know. So we're fishing, but we noticed something. There was this chain link, uh, like a chain, like a like a cattle fence, you know, and it had the little knurls in it going across the water. I think maybe it gotten knocked over some. It was a bat. There's a bat hung up in this fence, and he's flapping and stuff. Well, if you know my granddad, he's the guy that's going to rescue the poor animal. I don't know that I would have. I'm not going to touch a bat, you know. He's over there trying to free this thing, and I'm kind of trying to fish. I probably, I don't think I caught anything, because it became about that. And I don't know what he did, but he had like a, his, his pliers out and, and his, put a glove on. And he worked this thing for like five minutes, and this thing's making noise and flapping and everything. Well, he frees it. It goes flying off. <laughs> it reminds me of, he was just like that. Oh. So it's getting dark. He says, we got to head back. So we start, we start walking back. And he says, hold on a sec. We get to this one spot. And uh, we cross over to the other side. There's a little road there. And there's this, there's a road that goes over the creek. And there's this pipe. You know, those big like, water pipes that is built into the, into the road. And, it, it, and the stream runs through it down to the other side. And on the other side, has got a cool little pool, too. Uh, one of my favorite spots of all time. But he's like, we get to this, we get to the, this would be the west end, and he goes, there's a big one down in that hole, in that pipe. He goes, why don't you get it? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if, how does he know, you know? So, I, I, we're using salmon eggs. I flip a salmon egg, and the current takes it and runs into the hole, and <laughs> And there is one down there. He takes my, takes my salmon egg, put another salmon egg on. <laughs> gets and he's like keep at it and on the third one got it I'm working this fish and I get him and I'm sitting here catching the fish and all these years I've been thinking about this I just realized how special this was here's my granddad showing me where this fish is at lets me catch it his grandson and he's probably sitting back there all proud and everything and he was a it was a big one in fact I remember him telling me 
that uh, because they only let you fish in, in those creeks up there half the year. So these fish have half a season, half a year to get bigger. And it was, it was, it was bigger than, a, than you know, the, the, the usual 9 to 12 inch planter trouts. This thing was a little bigger. It was, it was a nice one. And I landed him and we bagged him and took him back to camp and we had us fish that night. And it's one of those things I'll just never forget. Fishing one last time with my granddad and him telling me, go ahead and catch him. He knew that creek. He knew where they were, and he knew there was a fish in there, and he let me catch it. Thank you, Granddad. Thank you for all the great times, and thanks for letting me catch that fish.